somebody put their shelters up but uh left them and they're plugged in they're plugged in too oh man that's crappy and they left their tents there They left their dishes, they left their cooler, they left their tents. Come on people, you gotta get better about this. I'm over here getting ready to leave and we've seen these tents here uh, all week long. I don't know if they had an abandoned ship or what, but it's pretty bad. Uh, the tents are full of water, they left the these twin size uh, air mattresses just on the ground in a big pile, dishes all over the place. But the thing is, is all this stuff looks like they literally went to Walmart and just bought it. And they left their tag in here. So Jeff from Knoxville, Iowa. Kind of crappy, man. Oh. Jeff, you have the phone number on here. I think there's a, I think there's a rain fly over here on the ground. I think it just got blown off maybe. Or they didn't know how to put it on properly. Let's see. Well, it says front on it. There are latches down here on the bottom, I'm assuming. Latch the rain fly onto it. They literally left everything here. Pretty sure this goes into your rain fly. To hold your door open. Or to hold it up out of your off your tent. It's actually a pretty neat little looking tent. Kind of an interesting way to get into a tent. I'm gonna clean all that crap out. I'm getting rid of this Keystone light and these little kids gloves and yep. You know what? Because of like maybe they came and got hit by a storm and maybe they're a young parent or I don't know. I don't know what the ins and outs are, but there is a phone number on that card and I'm going to call that phone number. The other tents trashed. Those air mattresses are trashed, but I can't in good conscience, like not allow a kid to get outdoors and camp. So I'm going to call this dad and, uh, see if I can meet them someplace to drop off their tent and what salvable items I have over there. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them real quick. I'm using my phone, so I gotta use this. Okay, so I tried to call the number and it's one of those screen uh, cell phones. They're screening their number uh, or my phone number, whatever, because I, I don't know them. So I sent them a text message and said, hi, Jeff. 
I have your, I was able to salvage one of your tents. Um, you know, basically just want to get to, to meet up them. In fact, I can read it verbatim, but I'll probably just show you a, a screenshot if they do answer back. If they don't, um, I'm still going to try to salvage this tent and I'll be around the area for another day. So hopefully I'm able to get them their tent. I mean, these tent, this tent looks brand new. But I'm going to try to get it cleaned out. It's pretty filthy inside. There's crackers and water and gunk in it. Some other tents, whenever they get full of crap, you can do this and get all the water out of it. And that worked. nice little tent now it's gonna be wet so I'm not gonna roll it all the way up but I've got a broom I'm gonna uh, sweep that out with and it's raining on me again I don't think it's really ever stopped raining but it's definitely raining on me again now guys use this as an example of what never to ever do don't leave your stuff You're not a camper you're not an outdoors person and you're just you checking it out you know or you want to do it for the kids that's awesome but your kids are also seeing this be responsible don't just pack up camp and leave all your stuff behind for somebody else to do i want these kids to have the best camping experience as they possibly can Maybe this will teach a guy a lesson. Maybe he won't message me back. Again, he did message me and say he does want his tent back. He uh, is at work. I said, great, but I'm passing through. I'm not even from this area. All right, well, the campsite is all cleaned up. And uh, I was able to get a hold of the owner of the stuff. I got everything packed away the best I could. Extension cords, butter spray. Uh, the skillet was trashed. Um, the twin mattresses, air mattresses were trashed. I had to throw those away. One of the tents I had to throw away. I was able to salvage a tent, cooler, some extension cords, plates, um, stuff like that. I normally would have just kept the stuff and donated it to kids who need it, but I seen children's belongings and I've got a super soft spot in my heart when it comes to kids and especially when it comes to kids in the outdoors. And just because the parents did a really crappy thing by leaving everything all over doesn't mean they don't need another chance to do the right thing and maybe this will be kind of a bump in the right direction but also we can't hold these kids accountable for the mistakes that their parents make we got to keep trying to correct their parents all the time and uh, when i see this stuff i just i know that the parent had the right intentions they just had really shitty follow-through clean up your mess let these kids learn by your example if that kid would have seen them clean up that's a good thing to keep on you know the parent messaged me back and said oh i was going to come back and get the stuff today sure you were bud sure you were that stuff's been here since we've been here so really crappy but light at the end of the tunnel i'm gonna go meet up with this guy at walmart in pella <laughs> and give him his stuff back so hopefully it has a good ending still disappointed doesn't mean I'm not going to love on the person, but it's disappointing that they do stuff like this. But who knows? Maybe it's a good chance encounter. Here's an example of what the camp spot should look like when you leave. Minus the Chevy. That's mine. You can't have it. <laughs> but minus all the stuff. There's nothing there. Wonderful.
Nothing in the fire ring. No garbage. Great. All right, let's go meet this guy. And I need to go to Walmart anyway because I've got to get some tongs. Um, I need to get some more charcoal. Uh, what else did I need? Oh, paper towels. I use like all of Steve-O's paper towels. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry, but I need to get some. So that'll be good. Other than that, I think I'm sitting pretty good on like food. I've got, oh, I need to get some hamburger buns. Nah, I've got bread. I don't need hamburger buns. I got bread. And yeah, let's see what else I got going on. Got on. Yeah, I've got everything else I need. I just need to get just some tongs to get those coals out. Um, we're golden everywhere else. Tongs and charcoal. Knowing me, I'll find something else I think I need, of course, but I'll try not to. Yeah, this rain. Ugh. It is still coming down. Why do I do the things I do sometimes? Oh, I know. It's for the kids. That's why. It's for the kids. I'm sorry. Are you with the... Oh, now the guy thinks I'm with the parks and games. Well, so I brought the stuff to the guy's job because... First of all, he said he drove through Walmart where I was meeting him. I didn't see him. So I brought the stuff to his job. He's only like... I waited for an hour... For him at Walmart and he was literally a mile not even a mile down the road one minute from Walmart and he and now I'm behind him but of course he told me oh I was gonna come back and, and, and get that stuff even though his park ticket expired two days ago hey, at least he said thank you I guess I told him got to make sure we pick that stuff up. We got to be better about it. I hope you listened. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. But I got to try. Okay. That was fun. Now on to another campsite. So uh, I'm going to make this just one video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, please. Please, please. Lead by example. And clean up your messes. If you're camping and you're enjoying the outdoors, make it better. Or at least the same. Preferably better. So that way, people who are coming after you get the same exact enjoyable experience that you're getting. Pretty simple. And plus, you pay for it, right? Somebody else is paying for it, too. How bad would you felt if you would have showed up to a camp spot you paid for? And you had somebody else's garbage there. Not cool. All right. Enough about that. Let's go camping.